The first thing to do when you receive your HuddleCam HD third generation joystick controller is read through the included manual. Once you have opened the box, you will find a user manual, the joystick controller, a 12 volt power supply, and a nine foot DB9 connection cable. There's also a five port connection screw for the terminal plug used for RS-422 and RS-485 camera connections plugged into the back of the joystick by default. This joystick is capable of controlling PTZ cameras using RS-232, RS-485, and RS-422 cabling using Visca, Pelco-P, or Pelco-D protocols. This joystick can control a maximum of 255 cameras via Pelco-D or Pelco-P. The maximum communication distance is 1200 meters using RS-485 with 24 gauge twisted pair cabling. On the back of the joystick, you will find a power Power connection, a DB9 connection, and a Phoenix connection port. Let's plug the included 12 volt power supply into the power connection and we will see the power LED lights turn on. The DB9 connector allows for RS-232 connections to cameras, generally using an 8-pin mini DIN connector. Let's connect the included DB9 to 8-pin mini DIN camera control cable into this connection port and screw the terminal connectors to ensure a secure connection. Optionally, you can use the Phoenix connection port with the included 5-port screw terminal plug with RS-422 or RS-485 PTZ cameras. Note, some camera control options are only available using the Visca protocol. Pelco-P and Pelco-D do not support main exposure and main focus joystick buttons. Now let's connect the 8-pin mini DIN camera side of our DB9 cable to a HuddleCam HD 10X camera. You will notice that this camera features a Visca in port and a Visca out port. The Visca out port is used for daisy chain multiple cameras together using RS-232 or RS-485 control. If you need to extend this first cable, you will need a DB9 extension cable. If you want to add an additional camera to the control in a daisy chain setup, you will need a cascade cable. For your first camera in the chain, we will be connecting to it using a DB9 to an 8-pin mini DIN cable. Each additional camera will be connected using an 8-pin mini DIN cascade cable. You can learn more about DB9 and cascade cables at huddlecamhd.com slash cables. By default, the joystick is set up to use Visca protocol at a baud rate of 9600. This is ideal for any Huddlecam HD or PTZ optics camera. If you need to change the control protocol or baud rate, you can access the main menu by holding down the setup button for three seconds and using the default password 8888. You can always go back up one level at any time in the menu system by clicking the top left escape button. Tip, the higher the baud rate you use, the faster your control connection will be. The HuddleCam HD joystick generation three was designed around the HuddleCam HD and PTZ Optics cameras. Not all functions will work with cameras outside these brands. By default, most cameras are set up to receive Visca commands on on Visca address one. If you are setting up a daisy chain camera control system, you will need to set each camera with a unique address for each camera in your chain. Let's set up a second camera in a daisy chain of control and use a PTZ optics camera this time. We will take the eight pin mini DIN Visca output of the HuddleCam HD 10X and connect that to the input of the PTZ optics camera using a Visca cascade cable. Now let's set up the PTZ optics camera with Visca address two using the OSD menu. Now we should be able to select between camera one and camera two using the unique hot switching camera buttons. Let's select camera one and test out the joystick controller. Now let's select camera two and test out the joystick controller with camera two. As you can see, we can easily switch between multiple cameras with this joystick controller. In this way, we can quickly switch between up to six cameras using the six camera hotkey buttons. If we need to select a camera beyond the six hotkey buttons, we can use the cam address button button and enter the camera number we would like to select and press enter. Now that we have multiple cameras set up with our joystick controller, let's set up a camera preset. First, select the camera that you would like to set up a camera preset with. Then click the set button, followed by the number preset you would like to save and press enter. Alternatively, 
You can press and hold a numeric key one through nine for three seconds to quickly store the camera's current PTZ location into that preset number. Once all of your camera presets are set up, you can call camera presets in recall mode. You can leave set mode by clicking the escape button. You can enter call mode by clicking the recall button. Alternatively, you can quickly press any of the one through nine buttons to call a camera preset. To call a camera preset above one through nine, you can enter the preset number in recall mode and press the enter button. Note, for your convenience, the joystick controller uses the same preset numbers whether they are set, cleared, or called as the handheld IR remote control that comes with your camera. Therefore, any changes made on your IR remote will be reflected in your joystick's operation. You have now set up your third generation Huddlecam HD joystick controller to work with multiple Visca PTZ cameras. For more in-depth setups requiring connections for RS4 485 and RS-422 cameras, please reference the included manual. Your joystick controller includes a two-year warranty. If you ever have any questions about the operation of this joystick, feel free to reach out to our support team at the phone number listed on our website or submit a help ticket at help.huddlecamhd.com.